What's good YouTube? It's Jay Nasty on the mic and welcome back to another Sims 4 video on my Jay Nasty Gaming channel. Alright, so for tonight's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install and enable script mods and custom content in your game. And I'm going to make it short, sweet, to the point, and let's go ahead and jump right into it then. I'm here in the main menu, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you need to enable mods in your game before you can play with them or even put them in, you know, they're not going to pop up unless you enable them. So we're going to go to the top right in the options menu, and we're going to go to game options. Go down in the left menu over here, you're going to see other right at the bottom, click on other. And on the fourth and fifth options down, you're going to see enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed. Now you need to make sure these are both checked and that the boxes on these are green. If it's blank like this, that means you didn't do it right. Make sure that they're green and apply changes. And then you're going to need to restart your game in order for these changes to take effect. So go ahead, exit your game. Now we're going to work on actually getting mods. First things first, I like to make sure that I'm prepared by opening both of my folders. I'm going to go to my documents folder, electronic arts, Sims 4, and into your mods folder. And this is my mods folder. Then I'm going to just automatically open up a downloads folder as well because all of your mods and custom content is going to go to this download folder. I'm going to go to Sacrificial's page because he has so many good mods. I think I'm going to download, let's do, let's do Zombie Apocalypse. We're going to download Zombie Apocalypse. So you see it's going to show up there as a zip file. All right, and on top of that, let's go, the Sims resource is the website I use, my website of choice for custom content because it's just a very clean and easy to find things. The categories are awesome. There's a bunch of other great ones like just creators on Tumblr and um, Sims Dom. But I just like the way that this is just super clean. The only shitty thing about this is that if you don't pay for a membership, there's like a shit ton of ads. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to shoes. I don't really have a lot of shoes in my game. You see here we have theme, category, all this stuff. I want to just pick a unique pair of shoes. Oh, look, Christmas boots. Perfect. Let's click on the Christmas boots just so it'll be easy to find. I can show you where it is in game. All right. So you want to make sure that you go down here and check to see that there is nothing in the description that talks about uh, an original mesh that you need. So what this means is that when they create something, they base it off of, you know, I'm not a creator, but they base it off of a mesh is what it's called. And what that means is that it's... Uh, when you download this, you're going to get the full effect and you don't need to do anything else. You just download this because it's a new mesh. But some of them will have a link down below for the original mesh. And if you do not download the original mesh along with the the recolor, the retexture, it might say, then your game is going to show it to you all funky. Your sim is going to look crazy and I'm going to show you what that looks like. But just make sure that you double check down here to make sure that you don't have to download any additional content or meshes so we're going to download that next step after downloading these things is to actually put them into your mods folder which is why i have both my folders opened up right away oops so you see in my downloads i have them both here i like to put all my custom content in a sec separate folder basically all my clothes shoes hair all that i put them in the custom content folder you see with your script mods, they say not to have them any more than one folder deep. Basically, one folder deep means that you are allowed to put them in one folder if you want to organize them like that. Me personally, I have all my script mods in my main folder just to make sure that they all work. So you're going to drag this over. This is called the zip file. You're going to right click and put extract here. And once you extract here, let's just make sure it's in there, right here, zombie apocalypse. So it's in there. And then you need to delete the zip folder. Okay, delete that. And now you're going to restart your game and I will show you where to find your mods. So when you log into your game after enabling your mods, you're going to see a pop up. Now you can disable this pop up if you would like, but I personally like the pop up because basically right here it shows you all of your mods you can uncheck this box if you don't like it popping up but when it does pop up for the first time it basically tells you that it worked you enabled your mods these are all your mods right here all your custom content everything and it means that you can now see them and they're going to show up in your game so here we are this is my current household pregnant as baby ariel so to find your mods 
some things like MC Command Center can be found on the computer, but just click on your sim and your mods are going to pop up in the pie menu. So you see my prostitution is a hoe it up mod. Extreme violence is a mod. Zombie apocalypse, which we just downloaded. That's a mod. Wicked whim, slice of life, MC command center, drugs. These are all my mods. So look no further. Just click on a sim and you can click the mod of choice. And this is my zombie apocalypse mod. I never actually played with this mod before, so that's cool that I actually have it in here. But I think you need, actually need to enable zombies for this. Bo so we're here in Create a Sim so that I can show you where to find the custom content and the clothes and stuff. So you're just gonna click here. Uh, we have boots that we just downloaded, right? So I'm gonna just take the filters off, but I am oh. gonna put right here. Click on the little bar, go to content. Custom, boom, filters everything out. And then on the same token, you just go to build mode, do the same thing, filter through custom content, and you're gonna find whatever build objects that you have downloaded in there. And, and there you have it, folks. Oh yes, one more thing I wanna show you. When you have downloaded bad CC, this is what I mean by it turns your sim all funky. You see how his shoes just disappeared? What else? Some of these Ebonics ones are bad. I just don't know which ones. You see, boom, he just did his whole body just disappeared. That means that you have bad CC, you didn't download it right, you didn't download the original mesh, or the mesh Ooh. that they use is in a pack that you don't have yet. So it could be just a pack that you haven't purchased, so it's incompatible with your game. So that was gonna happen sometimes. Sometimes they'll go all red and funky, which is kind of weird, but you see, it disappeared. If you see him go black and white and uh, his eyes go red, like he's high as shit. Have no fear, you just have to use a Sims tray importer, <laughs> something like that, to find the CC and download the mesh. That's something that I'm really not sure how to do quite yet, which is why I have a bunch of fucked up CC in my game, but I am slowly taking out little by little. So, <laughs> I taught you how to enable your mods and your custom content in your game, how to download them, how to install them, and where to find them. So if you're satisfied with this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my small little baby channel. And subscribe if you want to see more Sims content. Give me a comment down below if you have any questions at all. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Peace and love, everybody.